guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a big cruelty free haul. So just a few things that I've collected over the past weeks. It includes some hair care, some makeup, some skin care, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So if you'd like to see what I purchased, then just keep on watching. So the first thing that I picked up is, I'll show all of this because it's a, it's a few different products from one brand. The brand is called Balance Guru and uh, I checked in there on Logical Harmony's list so that's good. Um, they're also on PETA's list as well as I can see the logo here. But anyways, uh, the first thing I picked up is the Scalp Detox. So it's um, to balance your tired scalp. So I get really dry in the winter, it's kind of gross, uh, it's like basically eczema on my head. So I bought this Scalp Detox, so it's organic, it's detoxifying scalp treatment. It says it soothes itchy and flaky scalp and gives your scalp from a break from styling products. Um, it says that it is made with uh, oregano, tea tree, and rosemary essential oils, which will help detox process, while algae kelp and brami help to reju rejuvenate tired roots. So you just put, it says that I think you just put, uh, use the dropper and apply it directly onto the scalp and then massage in. Um, I think this is great. My doctor actually prescribed me like something for my scalp, but I don't use it because it makes my hair look greasy and I'd rather use a natural product. So I'm definitely going to give this a go. Get a good size amount. I believe it is one fluid ounce and it comes with a little dropper like this. So then you would just drop onto your scalp and rub in. So I'm pretty excited to try that. I haven't tried it yet, but I will let you know if I like it. So the next thing from Balance Guru I have tried and I really like it. This is the uh, this is their Pharmaceuticals line and this is the Scrub Me Nice and Gritty Body Scrub. Uh, so it says, organics for everyone, for every green heart, every loved one, every body, which I think is so cute. And um, their packaging is also recyclable, so. I like that a lot too. Um, it says that it's enriched with raw sugar, organic coffee, coconut oil, and cocoa butter to simultaneously exfoliate and moisturize. And I've used this and I really, really, really like it. It's kind of cool, especially in the winter for dry skin. So it comes in a big container like this. There is eight ounces in it. And you just open it up. Oh, I love the smell. And it looks like that. It's like coffee grinds, but I sense like a little bit of smells like pepper, pepperminty kind of, and it comes with a scoop like this. So all you do is just like wet your body, and I use it in the bath, and then you just scoop it out onto your skin and exfoliate, and I think that's a great idea. It's good if you want to do um, tanning too, like self-tanning, because you should exfoliate before. So this is a really good option, and it's organic and natural, so I definitely recommend this one. I got it for $8.99. I'm not sure what it retails or anywhere else because I got it at Winners. So Winners does have like um, lower prices. It's kind of like a department store kind of. I don't know how to describe it in the States, but um, they sell brand made stuff for a lower price. So uh, once I run out of this, if, if Winners doesn't have it, then I'm gonna order it because I really, really like this one. Next from Balance Guru, I have the No Frizz Oil, which I have tried as well. It's organic sesame and lemongrass balancing oil. It's meant to nourish and repair hair, control frizz even in humid and tropical weather. Um, it says leaves no residue, ugh, leaves no residue or buildup. And it, the essential oils are sesame, argan, yojoba, um, lemongrass, and eucalyptus. So I have used this. Um, it did weigh my hair down a little bit, uh, to be honest, so I think I went in with too much product. Um, it just says apply a small amount and maybe I apply too much. So it comes in a one fluid ounce bottle just like the scalp. So apply it to your fingertips and then to the ends. I kind of put a lot through the ends because my hair is dry and then my hair ended up kind of looking uh, greasy so it's kind of my fault but I used it up top with like a light layer and I didn't have any grease up there so I think it was just my fault so go in with a light hand with this but I actually did really like it like especially up top it was not frizzy at all so it, I'm not using it today but I used it the other day at work and I did like it other than the heaviness that I used um, so it's technically my fault so yeah this is a good one uh, especially because it's a natural frizz one which I haven't really found any products that keep my frizz down, so I'm going to keep trying that one. Next, I got the Andalo, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, Natural Style Spray with Lavender and Biotin. Adds lift, body, and shine. I'm using it today, and I find that it does 
um, give a little bit of shine and hold. So I just used it on my curls. Uh, it's full volume, so it comes with this like that. It has a nice spray, and it does smell like lavender. I love lavender, so. Um, lavender gently refreshes, stimulates follicles, and circulation. Biotin B complex infuses essential protein for thicker, fuller strands, improves strength, texture, and for maximum volume and silky shine. So spray lightly at roots of damp hair, gently comb through. I didn't do that, but whatever, it still worked. Style as usual, and it is color safe. So I got it at Winners. It was on sale for $5. I think it's regularly... Hmm, let me see. Compare at... 12. So I got it for 5 and it's regularly 12. So this one's good. And you get uh, 8.2 fluid ounces or 242 milliliters. So definitely going to keep using that one. I like it. Um, next by Avalon Organics, I got the Lavender Luminosity. Can you tell I like lavender? Um, facial Cleansing Milk, which eliminates toxins and creates a glow. It's a hypoallergenic, safe, effective, certified natural skincare without synthetic fragrances or harsh sulfates or parabens. So it's 207 milliliters, it comes like this. I also got this one for a sale price, it was $7. It is regularly 13, and it's a soothing soap-free cleansing milk that detoxifies, soothes, and smooths skin. So it's calming plant uh, ingredients such as lavender and flax oil, clean and hydrate the skin. So I really like this one, I'm dry skin, so I can't use something that strips too much. Uh, so I like this. It's like a milk. You put it on. It's nice and milky and creamy. Um, takes your makeup off and then I, mas I massage it into my face and my neck and then rinse it off. So I really like that it comes with the pump like this. Um, good for traveling. You can just push it down and lock it so then it won't come out. And yeah, I really like that it's lavender. Uh, I haven't found any problems with it. So I really like this one, especially if you can get it on sale. Um, another face wash if you want something that is higher end I guess you can say. Um, I got this, I work at Sephora, and I got the First Aid Beauty Face Wash. So this is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin face Facial Cleanser with antioxidant boosters which removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime, and it's safe for sensitive skin. Um, I sampled this at work originally and really liked it, so then I went out and bought it um, not too long ago. I ordered on Sephora.com.ca. If you're Canadian, check out the Canadian site. Um, it arrived in like three days, so I was pretty happy with that. It's allergy tested, it's fragrance free and hypoallergenic, um, it's, a, it's like a cream and it gently cleanses the skin. The only thing I will say about this is I really really like it, but if you're wearing a full face, you need to use it twice. Because it is for sensitive skin, I guess it doesn't um, strip as much as you'd like. Um, I really like the way that this takes off makeup if you do two layers. So um, some people may not like that. For me, I'm sensitive, so I don't want to use something that's drying me out. So this doesn't dry me out. So just do a quick rinse and then do another layer if you're wearing heavy makeup. For day-to-day -day makeup, I can use this no problem. Um, doesn't hurt my eyes. It removes makeup pretty well. Just if you're going to wear a wing liner and red lips and a whole bunch of other stuff, um, maybe wash twice or wash once and then remove the rest with like a makeup eye makeup remover or whatever. But yeah, I really like this one. Uh, this is my um, favorite first aid beauty product, although I do really like their exfoliating pads as well. So this was $25, I believe, and it was from Sephora.ca. Next, I got a mini of the Nature's Gate Natural Toothpaste in Peppermint. I've got, I've picked up one of these before, but it was $4.99, um, and I was running out of toothpaste, and where I live, the shoppers only sells Tom's, so the closest place I can get toothpaste is the grocery store 20 minutes away, so sometimes I can't always go get there. So I picked little guys like this just for the in-between periods. So this is the peppermint one, and I've used this one before. I liked it. It's Nature's Gate. Um, my favorite toothpaste is still the Kiss My Face. Uh, when I go out and purposely buy toothpaste, it is Kiss My Face. But this is a, an okay one in between, and I really like that it's travel size. So for anyone that likes traveling, it is 47 milliliters. 2.5 ounces, so or even just carrying it in your purse if you're like me and you carry around a toothbrush in your purse. <laughs> Next, I got a Mineral Fusion nail polish. Now I've never tried these before, but I do follow them on Instagram, and I always see like how beautiful they look and everything like that. So I was super excited to get this. It's in a really pretty color. It's called Brilliant, I believe, and it's like a pinky, um, shiny color by Mineral Fusion, and I got it on sale for three dollars. So I was pretty excited about that. 
Um, can't wait to try it. I haven't painted my nails yet, but yeah, and it comes in the cute little bottle like this. So I'm really excited to try this nail polish. <laughs> Next, I have something super funny. You guys are going to laugh at me. Um, I picked up this Out of Africa Whipped and Creamy Shea Body Butter and Pomegranate. And I love this for my legs. My legs are really dry. Um, it says that it is rich in antioxidant vitamins A, E, and F with natural anti-aging properties. Ideal for skin types, including sensitive skin, not sticky or greasy. Nourishes and protects with, protects with intense moisture. I really, really like this. Put it on my legs, felt awesome, um, and I like that it's pomegranate flavored, it actually smells really good. And it says, your purchase of Out of Africa products helped provide education and medical care to children and women in West Africa. And you can follow their story at outofafricashea.com. So I think that's really, really cool, great company, 100% pure shea butter, and it is airport approved, which is funny. 3.4 ounces or 100 milliliters. Um, this is the funny story. See how there's nothing in it? Yeah, so I put all these products aside to do this haul and I I really liked that one and I kept using it on my legs and uh, then I forgot to put it back in the packaging so it's not here for me to film but it's just like a normal lo lotion container and really really like this one. I recommend it and I wish that I could like squeeze it out of my hand to show you but I had a blonde moment so don't mind that. Next I have, oh I forgot, one more Balanced Guru product. This is the Nourish Me Frowns to Smiles Facial Serum. So it is the pharmaceuticals line as well. It says, enriched with evening primrose, jojoba oil, argan oil, and rosehip oil. So it has mushroom and goji berry and it is light and non-greasy. You use a dropper to put a few drops on your face and uh, use it as a serum onto your face and neck can be used um, morning or night and it also has organic ingredients. I got it for $9.99. I think it retails for $22.99, so that's a pretty good deal. And uh, the only serum that I've tried um, aren't as natural, so I'm really excited to try the Nourish Me. I've used it like a few times, but not lengthy enough to um, give an honest opinion. So if you guys would like to see, um, let me know in the comments if you want to see like a review of the Balance Guru products. Like I can use them over an extended period of time and let you know like how they work, like the serum, the scalp oil, um, and the frizz oil. I also have the body scrub I've used but I can continue to use it and let you know. So if you want a review on those products just let me know in the comments and I will do that. Um, next on the uh, cruelty free Facebook group that I'm in. If you're not in it go check it out. I'll leave the link because all the girls on there are awesome. Um, we were talking about uh, what are good uh, cruelty free face wipes. So someone was talking about the Yes2 brand and I honestly didn't know they were cruelty free. So I wasn't buying from them when I saw them, saw the, their stuff in shoppers. I didn't know, so I, I kind of stayed away. But now that I know, I'm going to try a few more of their products. So I picked the Yes2 Coconut um, Cleansing Wipes. So it's coconut water and cuckoo nut extract. Don't know how to say it, sorry guys. It's a natural product, it says. Um, it's These ones are for um, hydrating and cleansing skin. So I'm dry, so I didn't want to try the other ones, but I did try these ones. Um, it's made by the Yes2 Carrots brand. So it has, I like it because it comes in like the opening and then it has a seal. Because I've used, like before, non-cruelty free wipes. Uh, now I only use cruelty free. But, and they didn't have this in it and I think that makes a big difference so they don't dry out. And it's cute, it says, open and go nuts. The good kind. So I thought that was cute. Um, I've used like three or four of them and I find that they're great, especially when I'm filming and I want to like take parts off or clean up. I find that they're really good. They're not greasy and it provides instant hydration. So I really like these. I got the 25 pack, but I'll probably get the bigger one next time. And I believe they were $9.99. So uh, yeah, I really like these ones. And next I have a few products from Sephora that I picked up. Um, I actually got this one from work, so it is the Hourglass uh, Ambient Lighting Dim Light, and I've been using this to set my face, which is kind of weird. I know it's supposed to be a highlight, but it's light enough for me that I can set my face with it, so I powder the T-zone and underneath the eyes with it, and I find that it really looks nice, especially if you're taking photos. So I know that this is a bit pricey, but I just wanted to include it in case anyone was looking for something from Sephora and Cruelty Free. I really do like Hourglass. They make great products. Uh, I'm using their primer today. 
And another product I picked up were the uh, Beauty on the Fly. We have these um, Becca kits. So it's the little mini Becca kits. It comes with the Becca Shimming, Shimmering Skin Perfector, like the little one in Opal. So I apply this on my cheekbones and nose first. It's a liquid highlight. And then I go in with my little baby Becca Opal um, traveling one like this. So I kind of get a double whammy. I apply this first and then this on top and it gives me like the really nice highlighted effect and I've been loving that. Um, I have Champagne Pop but it doesn't show up on my skin as well as Opal does. Um, I really like the way Opal looks. Put it on here so you can see it. Yeah, so I'm probably going to purchase a full size of Opal but I didn't know how it would look so I went and gave these a go. I think it's like $25 or something and they're really good for the purse. I pop it in my purse. Highlight and go. So my last product is my favorite product and I waited a long time for this because um, most people were like, oh my gosh, you work at Sephora, you must uh, buy so much now that you work there. And I actually think that I spend less money now that I work at Sephora because um, I really take the time to like learn about the products so I can inform people about them. So I'm not just going in and sporadically buying, I'm actually taking the time to look what's into them, see how good they are and whatever. So I really held off on um, buying a palette because I do have a lot of Urban Decay palettes but I am starting to try to transition away from parent companies thanks to my lovely ladies in the bunny group so I'm starting to try to wean away from that and uh, Too Faced is a great brand so I decided to buy the Too Faced Semi Sweet palette it was very difficult for me to decide if I wanted the Semi Sweet or I wanted the original but um, I just felt like this was more me, like I really liked the warm kind of colors. So I went with this one. I've been using it every single day and I love it. Definitely going to do a tutorial with it for you guys. Um, I know there are a few around on YouTube, but I wanted to give my own little spice up and try it out. Uh, I really like the neutral colors. The matte colors, if you haven't tried these, the matte colors are extraordinary. I'm not really a matte person, but I'm kind of becoming one. Um, like. The mattes on this are just, it's like just butter, butter, like it's insane that how soft these are, they're just so creamy, um, I really like them, and uh, yeah, it's becoming my everyday palette, it's getting kind of bad, but whatever, um, yeah, and I was going to wait for the Bon Bon, and uh, I just, I just thought that I have a lot of pinks and colors like that from my Vice palettes, and uh, yeah. And yes, it does smell like chocolate, and when I put it on, I'm like, oh, it's so good. And the packaging is really cute. So I am I have a tendency to travel with my palettes, so I've decided that this is not a traveling palette. It is going to stay in beautiful condition on my vanity, and uh, yeah, I definitely recommend it, and I will be putting a tutorial up with it. So that is my collective haul for my cruelty-free items. I hope you guys enjoy it. And let me know if you've tried any of these products like the Balance Guru Runs or whatever, the Avalon, anything like that. Let me know how you like it. And if you do want to see a Too Faced tutorial, let me know. And if you want a Balance Guru review, also let me know. So I'm going to be doing some holiday tutorials next. And I've been trying to film a lot more for you guys. I know I've been slacking, so thank you for being patient. But I hope everyone has a great holiday season, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.